Hi guys, so I did jump on the bandwagon of glittered tumblers. Now this tumbler uh, rotisserie thing is <laughs> my cup turner has actually been a work in progress since the summertime when I was off of work and um, this tumbler was actually glittered um, in the summertime as well however it was challenging getting this thing together and I'll tell you why so I bought all the wood in the summertime and so when I tried to put it together I split this piece of wood it wasn't a two by four it was the same piece of wood as this was and so I had it cut to this size but when I tried to put it together the wood actually split in half so I had to go back to Home Depot buy another piece of wood and have it cut down um, then I bought the pipes I had Home Depot cut them however when I had them cut I had them cut way too long so um, and I built these myself so I figured for this I would just use this as a handheld one that I can put a cup on here and work with in my hand so I went back to Home Depot I bought another pipe and I had them cut them down to this size so this one up here has the large football that looks like that that holds the larger tumblers and then so this one is the small version of course the footballs are from Dollar Tree and then the next thing that happened is the long piece of metal that came with my rotisserie that I ordered from Amazon my daughter threw away so I'm like great now I can't build my tumbler because I don't have that metal piece However, I went on to Etsy and I found that somebody was selling them already cut down to size, which was perfect. I'm like, great, it works out. Then I'm like, okay, so how am I going to get this piece onto here, right? So then I Googled that again, and then I found that Feather Bear Designs actually had a video where they added her husband, um, I think his name is Dan, um, he had added these little Nerf balls to the shaft in order to hold this pipe so this ball fits perfectly inside that pipe there so then he had a drill press that he was able to drill the hole into the nerf ball I don't have a drill press so I thought okay the next best thing is to take my handheld drill and start drilling a tiny little hole with the smallest bit I could find and then I worked my way up to the largest bit and it worked out perfect so I cut two of these balls which were slid onto this shaft here and then I glued them in with E6000 um, my Gorilla Glue had dried up so I couldn't use that so I used E6000 however as you know E6000 is kind of a pliable glue so when I went to adjust this machine after I put this cup on here today I pulled it off and it actually split this ball so there's only one ball, sorry guys, so it split this ball. So there's only one ball holding this piece in here right now. So I'm going to have to go get some more Gorilla Glue and get this uh, back onto the pipe there. So, But so far it's looking good. It's kind of leveled still, so it, that one Nerf ball is doing a good job. So then, um, and these balls actually... Um, I bought at Toys R Us right before Toys R Us was closing. Um, they had a package that was half opened. Half of the balls were missing. And the clearance price on that package was $10. I'm like, yeah, I'm not paying $10 for a half a package. And so the girl just kind of took a couple of the balls out for me and threw them in my bag. So that was right before Toys R Us closed. So I only had two little balls that I had to really, really work with, and it worked out perfect until I pulled this off and I split the ball. So, but it's working. It's working fine. And so uh, the glitter, the glitter that's on this tumbler, I'm sure you guys have already seen it from everybody else's videos. I'm kind of late, I guess, doing a glittered tumbler, but um, better late than never because I always wanted to try it. And so this glitter is the extra fine bling glitter from Recollections, which I bought from Michaels. Look at how sparkly that looks in the background. That is so pretty. So anyway, I haven't decided if I want to put a decal on here yet. Um, I've watched a ton of videos on how to do these tumblers. And some people put 
a nice thick layer of epoxy and I recently watched a couple videos where some people put really thin layers. You kind of only need a really thin layer. Um, so I opted to go with the thin layer of epoxy. So with regards to the tumbler, however, I did do the Mod Podge way. I did a, a layer of Mod Podge, then I put glitter on it, I let it dry, and then I did another layer of glitter, and so now I put a thin layer of epoxy on there. The tumbler's been sitting since the, the summer, so it's been glittered since the summer, so it was way dry for me to work with with the epoxy. But if you do the Mod Podge with the glitter, I would recommend letting it sit and making sure it's dry all the way. So because I knew that I wanted to do these, I also, and here with all the challenges that I've gone through, missing that piece and the balls and, and the wood splitting and breaking and finally getting it together here in March since the summertime, um, here comes We Are Memory Keepers with the brand new Spin It. <laughs> I was so tempted to just say, you know what, screw it, I'm not going to build my own, but I'm like, no, make it happen, Marilyn, you already have everything you need. So then I started searching online because I wanted to make sure I had the right gloves. So I did buy the nitrile or nitrile or nitrile gloves. So I bought a box of those. I can only find small online. So I bought them on Amazon. Um, I tried to go to uh, Harbor Freight Tools and Home Depot, but I can't find them in small. So I bought them there on Amazon. The other thing I bought on Amazon, which was pretty cool for uh, doing epoxy projects, is this little kit right here. I'll show you the, the front of the box. It's called Let's Resin. Let's resin, be creative, and have fun, right? So inside this little box, you get three of these little cups. So you can put one part in one cup, the second part in the other, and in the third cup, you can actually mix those two parts together. So I thought this was super neat, and it is silicone. As you can see, I do have my silicone Mod Podge mat on here, so when the silicone dries on, well, when the epoxy dries on the silicone, you can actually just peel off the epoxy. So this is great for that too, so then once this dries up, you can just peel it off. Um, and inside this little box came these little pipettes. So you got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five pipettes. You have these little finger cots. If you don't have the gloves, you can put this on your finger and put the epoxy on. And then in here you also have these little, these little pouring cups. And there's four. So that's super cute. I thought at first I could just mix my epoxy in here which you might be able to because they're kind of small and I didn't use a whole lot of epoxy on here actually. And then it came with all these little stir sticks and then these little picks too. These are I used to use these back in the day for doing my nails. You push back your cuticle with this end and then you clean the underneath your nail with this tip right here. And then you have your little popsicle sticks. So I thought this kit was super cute for working with epoxy. So I got it, and so we'll see how this goes. So if you guys don't want to build something like this, um, yeah, I would probably check out the We Are Memory Keeper Spin It, but I don't have it, um, but it would have made my life so much easier. <laughs> so anyway, look how pretty that is. I don't know if I'm going to put a decal on here or not yet, but... So far, so good. And it's pretty level right now with that one little Nerf ball in there. So I will let you know how it turns out in another video. Thanks for watching. Go Cubs. By the way, opening day, Cubs are at 12 to 2. And they are playing Texas.